All right, everybody, Sylvia here, and I am having my first real experience boondocking. I am out in the desert of Arizona on BLM land, and I am going to show you guys around, and particularly the thing that I was most interested in for this experience was to see how my generator would work and if it could keep up. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. Yeah, so I am in the desert of Arizona boondocking on BLM land. That's Bureau of Land Management. It's public land. It doesn't cost anything to camp here. And this is my very first experience doing this on my own without any help. The only other boondocking I have done, I did two nights with my friend Carol in Quartzsite. And then I have been to Harvest Host sites. But you have to make a reservation. It's all very safe and secure. And then I have camped overnight at gas stations like the Flying Dre J or Harris Ranch, you know, trucker, truck stops, which are also very, very safe. I didn't even unhitch my truck and trailer. So this is the first time that I've actually had to go out and find the BLM land and then find a, a site and pull in and get situated. Um, but you can see this is I'm right between like Havasu and a very small historic town called Oatman. I was just in there driving around this morning. But you can see there's nothing. There's joyous and just a lot of desert. There's a couple of other people camped far off in the distance. And this is my truck and trailer. And so the thing that I was really interested in for this particular boondocking experience was trying out my generator. Um, I've had this generator for since I bought the trailer over a year ago and I really haven't had a chance to use it because I've been um, I've been at uh, RV parks you know there's just been so much to learn and get used to that I haven't been able to incorporate the boondocking part of my you know tr tr uh, RV experience and now I feel like I'm ready to do that. So this is, there's like a little area on the trailer storage just for the generator. And then here's the um, plug for the trailer, which you would normally plug into electricity at an RV. And this is uh, the generator that I bought is a Honda EU 2000i. It's got a 2000 watt inverter. And the thing that I really like about it is there's a 30 amp outlet so I can plug my trailer right into the generator. And it will carry about just about a gallon of gas and um, should last six to eight hours. And this trailer is solar ready. There's a very small solar panel up on the roof and it keeps these two batteries topped off. Um, but that's the only power that I have for this trailer aside from the generator and those two batteries will run four USB ports inside the LED lights and there's an electric hitch um, and that's really what it's uh, meant to keep topped off. But yeah, let's go inside and let's see how the generator holds up. So when I was trike touring, camping with just a tent, I was a very reluctant tent camper. I just could never sleep. Uh, my imagination would always get the best of me, particularly when there was nobody else around. Um, I was always worried about animals, you know, I mean, even if I, you get rid of like all the food that you have, there's still the smell of food. You know, the tent is just this t very, very thin fabric. There really isn't much protection. And so I was really a reluctant camper. And if there was a hotel, that's probably where you would find me. Um, I really couldn't sleep well uh, tent camping. And that was the first thing that I needed to know about boondocking was, can I sleep? And yes, I did great last night. Um, I had no concerns, no worries. 
um, I I slept I slept really really well. So that was that was the first test that I needed to pass. You know I'm going to shut this door so we can see how quiet it is inside. So I put the generator at the nose of the trailer um, because there are no windows over here. Otherwise I have all the windows open. Um, I've been out and about so I haven't had the air conditioning going. Um, it's really pretty warm in here. So w without being hooked up to power, this trailer has only four USB ports so I can charge up my phone and just really small electronics. And then I have LED lights that I can use. But those two batteries, you know, they, it's really limited. And so with the generator, um, I can use the outlets. Um, I can use my computer. I have a keyboard that I need power for if I want to play the piano. Um, I have a microwave and so I cannot use it um, unless I have a generator or the trailers plugged in, but you can see it's working. You can hear the generator ramping up a little bit, but that's fine. And then the refrigerator um, is on propane and because I have it on the generator I could put it on electricity but since it's using gas it's pr there's probably really no advantage to that. I'll put it back on propane. And then um, the other big thing of course is air conditioning. It's very hot in here. Um, it's going to be a hundred degrees for sure today. Often it's hotter inside this trailer than it is outside. The heat really it really bakes in here. So you know, to be in these kinds of conditions, you really want to have air conditioning. So I've got it on air conditioning, low auto. Yeah, you can hear the generator ramping up. And it works just fine. And then I'll move it up to the high setting on the air conditioning. Yeah, it's working just fine too. So that's really that's really good because, you know, in conditions like this when it's so hot outside, I want to know that I can at least be cool inside my trailer. It's such a small trailer, it really doesn't take much to cool it down. Um, but the other thing that I really wanted to know was if boondocking is something that I can see myself doing more of I might want to invest in solar, put some solar panels up on the roof and have a bank of batteries to store the energy um, because, you know, the generator's great. It works just fine. It's, you know, this isn't anything I'm considering doing in, you know, anytime soon. But, like, I went out to Oatman and I had to put the generator away. It's a valuable thing, just like keeping a bike outside, you would put it away if you were going to leave. And overnight, I can't use the generator. I need to put it away because just like a bike, you wouldn't leave it sitting out overnight. And so with solar panels, I could just have access to the battery power so I could just turn it on and I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, bringing the generator in and out of its storage. And, you know, it's, it's not super loud, but it, it would be maybe annoying to somebody if they were parked pretty close to me. And of course there is a smell of the exhaust from the generator. Um, and, and it would be nice to have a solar for, for those reasons as well. But solar is a huge expense. Oh, it's a big investment up front to put the panels up on the roof, get it all installed and have a battery management system and, you know, putting everything in a place that's, you know, where it's all going to work very well. So I need to know that this is something I'm going to be using often enough to make the investment worthwhile. Uh, so far, all I've been doing is staying in RV parks, and there's power. There's no reason to have solar panels. Um, I've never even really needed my generator. But I 
you know what, this has been a really nice experience for me to be out on my own. I had no problems finding the BLM land, finding a place to set up for, for two nights. I'll be here for two nights just to have um, a full experience and see how I like it, particularly that it's so hot here. This is not something I would choose. Um, and in fact, when I leave here, I'm gonna be heading to higher ground where it's gonna be cooler. Um, but it gives me a really good idea if boondocking is something I wanna do more of and do I want to make a bigger investment in solar? What do you guys think about this, the whole boondocking experience? Leave a comment in the comment section below. You know I'm, how much I enjoy hearing from everybody. Please remain safe and healthy. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.